Shalom and Maki and your brother Kanan back at you with the shoe. Started by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will and teach well in the name of Israel by a great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching the truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai for salvation. Shalom and Maki. All right. Um, I didn't even really come to come up with a title for this lesson, but I'm um, gonna roll it in the spirit a little bit and uh, see where it takes us. Um, maybe uh, to the something to the effect, uh, the gates of hell shall not prevail, you know, something like that. You know, just roll in the spirit. You know, see where it goes. But you know, this is the end of the end, and Yahweh Bashem Shai is take um, breaking this kingdom down. Uh, a bit by bit, you know, uh, uh, strategically, you know, strategically, the Lord Yahweh Bashem is uh, breaking down this kingdom. And we look up the word strategic. Strategic. Let's look up the word strategic. It says relating to in, uh, ident relating to the identification of of long term. Remember the Lord is long suffering, or overall, or overall aims and interests and means of achieving them. So the Lord is going uh, to achieve the to achieve the the destruction of America. Carefully designed or planned to serve a particular purpose or advantage, and uh, the Lord's prophecies is is the uh, the advantage of of us um of our kingdom ushering in okay and he basically systematically is taking down the so-called white man's uh, rulership you know bit by bit by uh getting the the weak points you know and then he's gonna go for the major attack so he's, he's getting everybody uh, uh to attack one another you know that's how y'all bashim is working you know he's sending out evil angels you know and the scriptures do say that um let me see This is how the Lord works, man. I think it's in Psalm 78. So the Lord works with both sides, both the the right and the left. Okay, the, the left is a sword. Okay, the left, basically the left uh, rep is a representation of this deception, uh, adversary, uh, adversity, and the sword. Okay, so that's, that's the Lord uh, judgment hand. And the right hand is the Lord's righteousness, the Lord's peace. Okay, to break it down to the simplest terms. Um, so, I mean, it's in Psalm seventy-eight. Let me just type in it. Psalm 78 verse 49 Let's start at um Let's start at verse 49 It says Psalm 78 verse 49 Book of Psalms chapter 78 verse 49 So you know people read Psalms but they don't understand what the Psalms it, it mean, uh, Psalms mean Psalms, Psalms is basically Psalms of David but this is David uh, uh, prophesying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, things to come and things that are going to happen. And at that time, it was against uh, uh, Saul, but he, he also, King David prophesied the, uh, the return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You know, he also prophesied Yahweh Shai coming, uh, coming back 2,000 years ago as well. Okay, so it says Psalm 78, chapter, verse 49, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and in the nation in trouble by sending what evil angels among them so that's how the lord is basically uh plaguing the people everybody has a demon on them so the lord is sending evil angels to basically pull the people mind driving them crazy and then uh uh the lord is going to send that death angel to take them out you know 
Verse 50, it says, He made a way to his anger and spared not their soul from death and gave their life over to the pestilence and smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength and the tabernacles of Ham. So you're going to do this to what? The tabernacles of Edom. The, at that time, Yahweh Shemir Shai was um, against uh, the Hamites, how they was basically uh, enslaving the Israelites. So the Lord had to, uh, the Lord had to uh, send an uh, evil angels to, to, to uh, basically smoke the, um, kill the, the, the Hamites, the Mesianites, you know, which are the Egyptians. All right, but who's the who's the spiritual Egyptian today? You know, so if we, because the way uh, the Lord break down the kingdom, he make he makes people fight against one another. You know. So he make the heathens fight fight among themselves. So they start arguing, you know, and then they start uh, basically attacking each other. Like, why, why, why are you messing up? What are you doing? Go get them, you know. So hey, that's how y'all about Shemir Shai works. He pollutes the mind, and then he pollutes the body. Let me see Isaiah, Isaiah chapter nineteen, verse one: the burden of Egypt. Okay, Egypt goes into bondage, double straits. And in this place, America is double straits. You know, Israelites in captivity, and the earth is in captivity. You know, our land is in captivity. So everything's in straits. Behold, the Lord, behold, Yahweh Bashman shall ride upon a swift cloud. And the cloud is basically in, the, in, the, in uh, the chariots of Israel. And shall come unto Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. But well, they serve, um, they serve what well, Caesar Borgia, the so-called white man. Our people love that so-called white man image. Why? Because our people were, 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 uh, were, were, they were beaten into that uh, uh, religious, um, false religious way. Our people was beaten into that religious way. So when our people got polluted with the Caesar Borgia, that war hero from the 1400s image they they saw that as a, a glorious and peaceful state which is actually the enemy you know they got so comfortable forgetting about our lord you know the miracles that he did in, in uh, uh jerusalem you know uh, and he, in which he was a so-called black man you know so you tribes man it, some rebellious uh naive stiff-necked tribes but the lord created you to be so so um Basically, he created you to go off, man, you know, and he created us to go off. But he said, you know, I'm going to set this up. I want to I show you. I want to show my I want to show my own people my power through my people by way of what the elect, the first spirits. All right. The firstborns of, of, of you know, the firstborns of, of heaven, you know, on, aside from Yahweh Shai, you know, it says, um. And it says, and the idols of the Egypt shall be moved at his presence. When Yahweh Shai come back, every, that means everything is going, is, going, is going to get destroyed. Okay? You know, them churches, them statues of Caesar Borgia, them, uh, and you, and, hey, you northern tribes, y'all have a heavy, a heavy worship towards that, that, that Caesar Borgia, man. And, and the, the Santa Maria thing, you know? So the the Lord is gonna uh, move those idols, man, with with, with, with uh, tempest and, and brimstone, of the, of the lazy beans of the chariots, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So in the heart is the mind, you know. The, so the their mind is basically going to, their mindset and it, what they made up is gonna you know they're gonna is gonna fail them. So here's here's verse two, and I will set the Egyptians, basically the demons. Against the Egyptians, against more demons. So demons are going to be fighting demons. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor. City against city. And kingdom against kingdom. So the Lord is basically uh, having these people destroy themselves. Okay. And destroy their own people. All right. So the Lord basically making everything fall down. So verse 3 says, and the spirit of Egypt. Okay. The spirit is... It's a shadow of, of, the, of the actual, uh, the physical thing. So what, Egypt is dead now, right? So what's the, what's the spirit of Egypt today? What, 
what took that spirit what what uh, what spirit did Egypt go into to have that same movement and same ideology the same way America so the spirit of Egypt shall fill in the midst thereof and I will destroy the councils thereof and they shall seek to the idols all right seeking to the demons seeking to those uh, um, those wizards you know they're gonna be uh, calling it uh, trying to um, pray to their idols just you know to um, try to uh, make uh, the economy come back again in which the Lord is not going to make that happen you know because this is the Lord's program and it says seek to the idols and to the charmers and them that have familiar what spirits all right so basically um, uh, alienated spirit you know familiar spirits and to the wizards and the Egyptians verse 4 will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord Yahweh Shai you know, into of a cruel, cruel Lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them. Say if Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai, okay. Say if Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai of hosts, Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai of hosts, Salakia. So that and the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to be that cruel Lord, why? Because everybody have performed wickedness, and um, basically everybody have given themselves over to uh, uh, Satan and his works, and believing in on on a lie. You know, they, you know that uh, the you know the scriptures say our people, you know, um, rather hear uh, sweet things, you know, smooth things, and deceit. They don't want to hear righteousness. Okay, so the Lord, hey, Yahweh, Yahweh is gonna break them clouds, come with this great power, that's gonna shake the earth as if you was watching a uh, Star Wars, you know, when Darth Vader pull up, and everything shakes. So that's the kind of force. Now Yahweh Yahweh Shai is coming back with man. The, he's gonna get come up, come come back with the power of his father, man. You know. Um, so hey, the gates of hell is not gonna prevail. Um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 13. For thou hast power of what? Life and death. So the Lord has the power over life and death. And thou leadest the gates of hell and bringest up again. So we are we are in what? We are dwelling in hell right now. Hell is a condition, you know? So, <clears throat> so Esau has brought the, the gates of hell. He's going to basically bring Jacob's trouble uh Yahweh Shema is going to bring Jacob trouble through Esau and his, his wicked works man uh, Esau is going to release his uh, uh, uh his science out of the laboratory you know the cage the 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 the, 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 the infused beast with uh that he has in this laboratory all his uh, um his advanced technology his advanced AI technology which is artificial artificial intelligent technology you know he got you know Esau got some far out works, but why? Because Yahweh Shimei Shai gave him the wisdom to do those kind of works, so the Lord could show the his left hand power, and and that's the Lord's left hand power at his perfection. But watch when the Lord raises right hand power at his complete affection, um, um, perfection, and that's the angels and and the men of the Lord having spiritual power. You know, so basically the Lord is gonna. I'll do a new thing in the earth but let me see if I let me finish this up and I'm gonna try to find out <clears throat> and bring us up again a, a man indeed killeth through his malice and the spirit malice going to his, his evil his cruel ways and the spirit and when it goes gone forth returns not so that's the Lord sending the death angel you know but Esau is that death he is that death angel you know he has the angel of death Neither the soul receive up come again, but it is not possible to escape thy hand. So you can't escape in the hands of the Lord. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living power. Okay. I wanted this really, but Matthew uh, 16 and 18. And I say unto thee, thou, that thou art Peter. Which Peter is basically the reincarnation of King David. Okay. Yahweh Shai gave the keys to the 
keys of heaven to Peter. Keep Peter, uh, uh, and, and Yahweh Bashim Shai established Peter, the king of Jerusalem. You know, so he's gonna be, he's gonna, he, his lot is to be the king. You know, regardless, he was a king from ever since. You know, he was a king before. He's gonna be a king in the future. You know, the Lord is not an author of confusion. So that thou art Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church. You know, Yahweh Shai is that rock, that spiritual rock. Is the, he's the spiritual rock. You know, and the gate of hell sh shall not prevail against it. So Esau's kingdom is not gonna. It's not going to prevail, man. You know, his new world order is not going to prevail at all. You know, so we building up the spiritual arc of David. Nothing's going to be able to break it down. It's like, it's like that, it's like that ghost you just can't defeat. Or, you know, um, for instance, um, like Godzilla, you know, you, know, you, you can't take him down. It's, it's almost impossible to it's almost impossible for, for anybody to take him down, you know. Verse nineteen says, "And I will give unto the key the keys of the kingdom of heaven, okay. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven." So, King David got the keys of heaven, you know. And with that, basically, that's the keys of the truth at, at first, and then now. It's going. It's going. It's about to manifest into a physical uh, key for uh, King David to have to rule over Jerusalem. Okay. Um, I was say I was going to get a going to do a new thing in Earth. Salakio. All right. So Rock Chapter Thirty Six. Verse 6, show new signs, okay, new prophecies, marketed um, the um, RFID chip, okay, you know, new beast, new technology, drones and AI technology he gave Esau, all this uh, uh, um, advanced uh, uh, movements that the Lord have done in the earth, new signs, show new signs, make other strange wonders. People never saw the, the, the UFOs pop up like, like you know, uh, uh, like disco lights like this before. So the, the UFOs are popping up in the skies like disco lights. It says, make make other strange wonders, okay? You know, uh, you got uh, uh, lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, you know, the, the, the earth aligning with planets and, and, and many other things, you know? Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, which is Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai is getting being, being glorified right now, you know. And he's, basically, he's, uh, Yahweh is preparing Yahweh Shai, you know, for combat against the enemies, that they may set forth thy wondrous works, you know. And who's the wondrous works right now? The elect. We on the we on the corners, and nobody knows, you know. So the wondrous works is is a mystery, you know. And that's what's being a. Uh, 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 pushed out throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, men of the Lord are waking up, you know, to being a Hebrew Israelite, getting the word, you know, getting that, uh, uh you know, getting that, that spicy, uh, meal ready and ready to, uh, basically feed the children, you know, to feed the sheep, you know, that spicy meal. So that's what we do daily, you know, through these videos on the behalf of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushat, the spur and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushat. You know, with this Holy Spirit that, that gives the engine the oil 
to uh, basically uh, drive out these uh, uh, lessons, you know? Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy who? The enemy, which is Esau, Edom. You know, raise up indignation. You know, the Lord uh, making a lot of turmoil in the earth. You know, tornadoes and chariots swallowing uh, helicopters and, you know, madness and astonishment in the people. People are going wild. You know, Esau gone wild. You know, animals uh, uh, mean, uh, starving. You know, the Lord is starving out the earth. You know, by, by way of famine. Um, um, men of the Lord is waking up on the four corners of the earth. Many things are happening. Why, Lord? Why are you doing this? All, all of this? Verse 8 says, Sake the time short. All right? Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. But the Lord says, Shorten the time. You know, it's time to, uh, for the Israel to, uh, 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 kingdom to be established. All right? So, you know. Mark chapter 16 verse 17 These signs shall follow them that believe in my name Shall they cast out devils And they shall speak with new tongues So the name Jesus Christ is not going to cast out devils It's going to add more devils man You know um, Your worship of Buddha And uh, uh, you know the Allah the, the, the moon god Is going to add more devils The name Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to cast out devils man You know and that's what's going to cast out the evils that are in Jacob trouble. You know, the Lord said, um, thou uh, uh, destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. And uh, the beast shall be at peace with us, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Uh, let me get some. Give me one moment. Um, yeah. um Psalms. Let's go to Psalms thirty three. I think it's in Psalms thirty three. That's the one. Let's see y'all. Oh yeah, here we go. Psalm 33 and 5. Let's start at verse 4. For the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai is right. And all his works are done in truth. Not lies like Esau. You know. And you other nations. You know like Moab. Alright. Yahweh works are done in lies. Deception. Alright. Um, and Yah hate the children of Israel. Negro suspects them. Because due to the, 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 the power we serve. And also the flavor that we have. And the salt. Salt. The flavor that we have on the earth, all right. Without us, there will be no there will be no earth. It says, it says, for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yashah is right, and all his works are done in truth, not lies, all truth. You know, the Lord Yahweh Shah is the spirit of truth, he is the word. Okay, it says he loveth righteousness and judgment. That's a power, that's balance. Okay, he didn't say he loved, he loved everybody, it says he loved righteousness. Who's performing righteousness? The men of the Lord are on the corners teaching His word, and judgment, judgment, people who are not uh, uh, following law, statutes, and commandments, and constantly uh, uh, adding up their iniquities receive judgment. The earth is full of goodness of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, which is a balance. So the Lord have to uh, keep balance of the earth by what righteousness and judgment. Okay. Verse 6 says, By the word of Yahweh Shemashar were the heavens made and all the hosts of them 
by the breath of his mouth, by the, his commandments. So the Lord basically created the earth by his word, and his word goes into commandments. Okay. Jump down to verse 10. Yahweh Shimei Shai bring the counsels of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people none effect. The, the gates of hell shall not prevail against what they, the, 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 the spiritual ark of David. Okay. Verse 12 says, let's jump on to verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh Bashim Yashai, which is which is Israel. Okay, which is a people before is a place. And it said nations. It says nation. Okay, and it, it, it's it's not plural, you know. It says, uh, um, and and the people whom the have whom he have chosen for his own inheritance. So the Lord chosen what? The nation of Israel for his own inheritance. Okay. Get one more. Get one more. First Peter chapter four, verse seven. But the end of all things are is at hand. Be ye sober. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have free favorite charity. Among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. All right? So, that having love for one another in this ministry is what most important. You Christians don't don't love anybody. You know, y'all love yourselves. Y'all love uh, uh, Satan and his works, man. So, you know, um, the, watch unto prayer. Keep praying. Keep uh, uh, repenting, you know, and keep on uh, connecting in the spirit more and more. And staying in the spirit. You know, do what you can to please Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right, two thirds of our people is finished. Esau, your RFID chip is not going to work on the elect. Hey, man, we almost out of here. All right, the Wadi Yahweh by Shimei Shai put the spirit upon me to make this lesson. All praise to and glory go to Yahweh by Shimei Shai by Shimmer Kakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will and teach well, lead Israel by great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity, waiting on Yahweh Shai for salvation. Shalom, my game, stay strong in the spirit. We almost out of here with the salvation of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.